Knut, what are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor, we need your help. Who is we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No, they're hurt. And badly. Take me to them. Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. to tell me what has happened i can't you won't understand even if i do just just trust me What is this about? Sorry, A4. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh. That is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Awoo! Pure dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There is no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. Poor her. What do you see, Sue? opening it. I'll free that wolf, and pray to Tyr that I needn't slay it in front of the children. The table is set. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. <clears throat> These skulls bear teeth marks. The wolf must have helped him take them down. The 
The man liked his trophies. At least he leaves that legacy. Easy. Easy. You have a kind look to you, I think. Wait! Easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes! You freed her! You're amazing, Eivor! But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it's time to get you three back to the settlement before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone. You understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. Oh, oh, more wolves! And it's our new friend! Yeah. Stand back! Are you all right? Thanks to our hero, this dog wolf. The wolfka. What? The wolfka. It's like dog wolf. Oh, no, I don't like that at all. We should name her Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her Chewy because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? The Wolfka. It has an absurd sound just like all of this. She's our best friend. Now, we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes, the boring part. Well, have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned, just until we get home. I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now, scamper off home and take your new friend with you. Eivor's advice. But yes, it happens right here. My father told me once 
Shields are useful as well, but I think your father is onto something. Yes, he was simplifying, of course. You'd need clothes and rest as well. And good company, of course. Not as pithy when you say it like that. No. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. I should go. Ah, glad to see you made it, Shelbert. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of Lichestershire? The Alliance has won. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. You have not been long in England, have you? At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with... The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Shailbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The Honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandebridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of- You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal, but I will not shy from the triumphs I have fairly won, Dag. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any one of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There is enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it. And I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought. 
You're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many! Now come! The battle roars already! Bloody curs! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons! All others, stay here! With me! There's nothing for you here but death! Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. <laughs> Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor! Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. <sighs> I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits, should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him, we will find... So mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards! 
this was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, he will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. Jailbeard, are you well? I am, but I wish I could have risen to the challenge put before us, instead of just hiding here in the Longhouse. You were exactly where you needed to be, defending the people and yourself. I know, I just... Our forces outside were sufficient, and your father would have many unkind words for me if anything had happened to you. I know. I only wish my father's long shadow didn't darken my prospects here. I want to learn from you. Not watch you. I have no doubt. Next time, then. Good day. I want to see the Alliance map. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I'll make the trip east then. Speak to this Finier myself. A good plan. Rest assured, Eivor, the settlement is in safe hands. Good day to you.
Good day, Eivor. The fish are biting. What are you doing? We're off. Need to row our way out. Strike of the tune. We need an epic tale. Here is a story I have not told a man, for it happened only last month. I was sharing a lead horn with a beautiful woman. When she would... She, her sisters, and her mother all begged for your hand in marriage. Is that how this tale ends? Uh... Uh... Yes. Were you... Were you there? Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, my brother!
Attack on sight here.
Worm came creeping. He tore a man in two. Then Woden took nine glory twigs. Is this a prayer, an offering, or a final vestige of your oath? <laughs> Only a charm I never finished. The murdering heathen! Devil take you!
Fieras. More sail! Sing us a song. You Salskulls got a story. The last time we were docked, I saw two drunk ass Odin warriors take a tinkle of this great river steam. You know who you are, both of you. No need to raise your hand. But did you know? I saw your water stain the Hold on, There, I won't. Where were you? You know who you are, both of you. No need to raise your hand. But did you know? I saw your water stain the sides of this ship. Such a dishonor to so loyal a steam. <sighs> Do you realize how many trees had to die for us to use them as our vessel? A longship is a hundred horses that mated with sacred fish. Gudrun and Gudmund are like the bloody elves of Asgard. You dare desecrate this scourge of the Swan Roads, this fire spouter to the bowels of England. You should lick these benches, caress the masthead, thank the sails, make offerings to the hull. This is our home upon the waves. and loyal serpent. I think I have said enough. Let it never happen again. Yeah! Now you pay for your sins! Throw up, man! Six Christian missionaries I lured away from their faith into the worship of Almighty Thor? You showed them how to turn the crosses into hammers simply by Stop flipping them idiot. over. And they fainted with joy. That tale? Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I need your eye. Those 
traitors killed our cattle! Danes did not do this! It's the devil's work! We know it's the Danes! It's always the damn Danes! Make them pay their guilt for the dead that now litter the fields! Show sense, please. What would the Danes gain from the slaughter of poor farmers? Look! There's a filthy Dane now! Why don't we ask? Slaughtered my best milk cow, you beast! I did not touch your herd. You fools are making this worse. These Saxons fight like mad dogs to protect their own. I cannot blame them. Thank you for staying your hand, stranger. What is your name? Eivor, of the Raven Clan in Mercia. Wolfhilda, abbess of Barking, and inquirer into mysteries. Are we here for the same reason, I wonder? Aye, to look upon devil's work. But why would a Dane from Upriver care what happens to Saxon farmers? If there is a rabid wolf or bear on the prowl, I would see it dead. Blame often falls on my folk for such carnage. Well and good, Eivor of the Raven Clan. Take a look at the maulings, and tell me what manner of rabid beast did these things. I could start with the dead cows. You there. What befell this poor beast? Dames befell it. How can you be sure? It was Rothgar's war band. They're honed up in that old church, working their misery upon us. Warriors do not often go about slaying milk cows. Besides, I've heard talk of a beast on the loose. A Jotun did this. I saw it. All big and hairy. Staggering across the moor. Giants aren't real. You saw the devil himself taking his tithe to hell. You are brave ones for getting so close to this awful sight. I saw it, Roria. I did. The night it happened. I saw it all. What did you see? A wolf? A bear? Maybe a rabbit hound? It was a Jotun, as great as a tree. And it laughed while it ripped and teared. It yelled out its name. Grendel. Blood. 
is still wet as few. Where does it lead? By the gods. What manner of beasts flung that poor creature up here to its doom? What sort of beast leaves glistening mold over freshly killed prey? Yet that woman blamed the Hrothgar and his band of dames. Were the killer's men? Whoever it was, they were mighty enough to get a mauled beast corpse onto a rooftop. But that little girl said the creature was a giant, calling itself Grendel. This may be the work of a band of drunken dames, or something far, far worse. I should discuss these clues with Wolfhilda. Wolfhilda, I have learned all I can from the villagers and those dead beasts. And what is your take on the mystery? Still believe a wolf or bear did these things? This is not the work of a woodland preacher. The bite marks, the mold. Most odd. So you admit this is the devil's work? Or one of your wooden dragons come to life? A few maulings do not make for a devil or a dragon. It must be a man, or a pack of them. The girl mentioned a name. Grendel. No. No mortal hand could rend flesh in such a way. Surely you see that. I have seen the worst the hands of men can do. Deeds bloodier than this. And these men stalk the night, slaying cattle as they go? True. This thing I cannot explain. Three times these attacks have happened. Each time, bite marks, broken bones, and streaks of mold. Something wicked walks in East Anglia. Some other animals were attacked in the woods northeast of here. Let us go. This way, we may find more clues. <laughs> should be up there in the trees ahead. Can you smell it? It reeks of death and evil. I know that scent well. Kyrian and death. Loki's reek. have drawn in a starving wolf pack.
Did the wolves get a bite of you? No. I'm unhurt. Thank you, Dane. I... misjudged you. No need. But tell me what happened. These beasts came scavenging for fresh meat. I meant, why are you out here with the dead cattle again? I'm... searching for my best milch cow. She's missing. And you found her? No. But I found a Danish axe. It belongs to Rothgar, leader of the war band. You know for a fact this axe is his? Yes. He brandishes it about the village, demanding ale. I will speak to this Rothgar and his war band. That woman is certain a nearby band of warriors caused these maulings. We have no other clues. I know the men she means. They're staying at the church near Brisleek Farm. Come, meet them. Their leader, Hrothgar, is a great man, for a heathen. He is no cattle killer. You have curious opinions, Wolfhilda. And an uncommonly opened mind. I should say the same of you. Most heathens would point to witchcraft or monsters, but you seek an earthly cause. I have seen many strange things, but the answers are usually close at hand, if only hidden. True. Yet in this case, the Church has tasked me to explain the unexplainable. That, at times, introduces... unholy ideas. And your Church accepts your... unholy ideas? They tolerate it. Lucifer is a deceiver, and God himself works in mysterious ways. So I too must remain open to all possibilities, mundane and otherworldly. Which is why you tolerate a heathen like me. Perhaps. Or perhaps all of us, heathen and Christian, stand within the folds of a greater mystery. Something's off, Eivor. Hrothgar's men are rowdy sorts, but the air is far too still. Stand back, priestess. This is war work. They... they were good to me. Have a care, Wolfhilda. The killer may yet linger here. Their leader, Hrothgar. I do not see him among the dead. I shall find him. Look up. More blood. Someone crawled into the loft or dragged a body up there. The same marks as before. Bite marks. A mauling. These are not weapon wounds. Well-armed warriors.
see. More fresh mold. Same as in the fields, on the cows. The villagers say it is the Devil's Mark. What do you say, Eivor? I say find the mold, and we find our killer. Hrothgar sometimes slept in the loft. Have you looked up there? Back you. Back, I say. I can still draw blood. You are Hrothgar, leader of this warband. I am. A Finnmark raider and proud of it. <laughs> For the little time I have left. I bear ill news. Your warriors have fallen. Who or what did this awful thing? The monster did this thing. It killed us while laughing. Laughing! It broke my axe and gouged me. I... <coughs> I crawled up here to die. <coughs> what was it? Did you see? A foul Jotun. A nightgoer from the world's rim. It spoke, named itself Grendel, said it would return. <coughs> Good. We shall wait for it to come back, you and I. Not I. My wounds are too great and my spirit takes ship. Send them to Helheim. For me. Right, with the winged women, friend. I will handle this Grendel, whatever manner of monster it may be. Wait. Warrior, there were two. Best hide, to not scare the demon off when it returns. We'll wait up here for it to show itself again. Get your rest, warrior. I will stand vigil with prayer. Today you die. No kill. Play. I play. Mother, it hurts. Mother, it hurts me, mother. Play. Grendel only want to play. You make Grendel hurt. Mama, I want to go home. By all that is holy and bright, what manner of monster is that thing? Not a monster, but a man. Strange to behold, but this Grendel is, was, a man. But where did it come from? All men have mothers. This one called out for his in the end. And all of us, even the most hideous, have souls. O oh Lord, forgive this man his sins. ...and grant unto him your grace and everlasting love. Mold everywhere. Stay here, Wolfhilda. I'll follow this trail. Eternal rest grant unto them 
O oh Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May all these souls rest in peace. Grindel must have tracked this mold here. But from where? The trail leads southwest. Feel stronger already. The source of the mold must be near. into this pit. This woman speaks of her child, Grendel, a cruel fate the gods have woven. Troll curse corruption lurks here. Gee, so fitting. 
Yet what use is a key with no luck? My son's blood! Where is he? Where is my boy? Don't make me do this! What wickedness is this? You, the woman from the farm, you lied about the Danes. To protect my boy. He never meant to hurt anyone. But the others, they could not see. He, he kept growing in body, but not in mind. He was my boy. My sweet little. Wolfhilda must know the truth of this. What is this place?
Abbas. A4, you live yet. Pray, tell all. I slew a monster that was but a man. Then I tracked his mother and killed her too. His mother? She struck at me in the dark, and I defended myself. But it was no hero's deed. Those poor souls. I shall pray for them tonight at Barking Abbey. Leaving already? I must. The bishop is eager for a full accounting of the Beast of East Anglia. Leave my name out of your tale. It is nothing to be remembered for. Understood. Perhaps it would work better as a song. I dabbled in verse as a youth. It may be time to lift the pen again. But what story shall I write? The full truth of this thing may be hard to fathom. Give them a comforting one. About heroes and monsters. For the truth, the bone-cold truth of everything, is often hard to take. It cuts like a cruel north wind on the neck. God saves us all, A4. I take my leave now, but will write to you once my poem is complete. Farewell. Thank you, and farewell to you too, Wolfhelda. Make it a good tale.
fire is a blessing to one who has traveled far. To he who enters from the cold with frozen legs in need of food and clothing.
saw a rich man's home burning, yet he was hopeful, and death stood outside his door. It is always better to live, even in misery. You must row in these waters. Sing, my raven. Lower the mast! Let's hear a story. When I was 11 winters old, I was the youngest of my favorite cousins. A wild and rowdy bunch of Raise boys and girls. Mast. Together with our parents, we attended a feast at the home of Halfdan the Black of the House More of England. Sail. To toughen our patience, our parents set us with the old woman. Hush now. Drop the sail! What's wrong with you? Well, you're at the good part, yes. To toughen our patience, our parents set us with the old woman, who ordered us to bake flatbreads and serve it to the noble yards. After an hour, the flatbreads piled so high into pillars. We'll pick up from there. You die. We read. Target practice. Mm. I feel great. Patience! Look for the opening! It's next time!
can run up the hey, Strike of the tune. Is there a sea skull among you? Oh, you have likely never heard the story of the time Odin and Freya appeared before me on a dark winter's night. They called... They called you their orphan child, yes, dog. We've heard the tale as often as the sun has risen and set. <laughs> Save it for later. And we can't oh, Stick with me! Almost there! Odin! Odin!
are you feeling all right? I have come upon these ancient timbers, tarred for preservation, to mark my sacred symbol and pinpoint the source of their power. As I pray, the Lord sends through me the voice of a holy spirit. It reverberates with the finery of ancient language, and I am made anew. Were these timbers carried by the Nephilim? Barriers against invasions from afar? Please, Lord, let this truth shineth upon me as bright as your word doth. I have come upon these ancient timbers, tarred for preservation, to mark my sacred symbol and pinpoint the source of their power. As I pray, the Lord sends through me the voice of a Holy Spirit. It reverberates with the finery of... Stretch your wings, Sunan. here. Invisible. Go, Sunan. Ride yourself, Eivor. Come. St 
stand here and look out over the fjords. Hold my hand. There you go. I've never been so high. <laughs> Your father brought me here long ago, when we were just 19 winters. Together we stacked stones into cairns. These? Yes. Think of this as a test of mind and wit. Stack the cairn stones high and wide into any shape you like. How do I win? You win by playing. And a quiet mind is your reward. Let the air and nature's beauty soothe you. What? Black spirits torment this land. Curse is lifted. Pay for your sins! Yeah. <laughs> 
I should not be seen in this area. into your doom.
Be careful now.
Well met. Information. I have it. Do you need it? Well worth a little silver, I assure you. All right. Now, show me your map. There is a place... here. I have nothing more to share for now. Some coins have been taken from me. Green footprints. Could be a child. What's this? There's something odd going on in these woods. shrouded within an eternal twilight. You live here? Where are your parents? Questions, questions. Those can wait. Let's go up first. <gasps> Welcome to St. Martin's Land, weary traveler. I thought we got away, sis. Your hands and feet are swift, children, but your stealth needs work. Ah, oh, we were close. We will give you what we took, traveler. But first, you must listen to our story. <clears throat> Once. A long, long time ago, in a far away land, there was a sister. And a brother. I was getting there. But yes, and a brother. They lived happily in the land of St. Martin, all by themselves, with delicious beans. Lots and lots of beans. And cake. But now, life is harder. There are no more beans or cake. And we have to take what is not ours. We're not bad children, just hungry. Sorry, Large Walker. There is no shame in surviving, and there is nothing you should not do for family. You're wise, Large Walker. Here, take my silver. You were going to anyway. Buy what you need. Only steal if you cannot afford it. Thank you. But I do not think we deserve this. You don't deserve to live like this either. Spend the silver wisely. Here, large walker. A necklace? Yes, it's a St. Martin seal. You're welcome here anytime, large walker. You're one of us now. Visit us, okay? I will. Take care now, small green walkers.
Would be nice to have some cake, sister. Thanks for playing with us, Large Walker. Just fate has befallen this one. Poor victim of someone's fury. I hear the blood, like all of those wretched others. Speak! Not for yours, unless you tempt me. Liar, liar, liar! You will join them, all the unkind dead. Now I open the scars of my heart! Seda, you sing troll! Breathe deeply! Watch as I become smoke! And listen as I break your bones! Raise the glass in Odin's hall. Another war begins. <laughs>
Mm, I feel great. Well said. You have stocks for a hundred moons. You will live a long and hearty life. But, Father, you are not too ill to stay. But I am. The Weavers have sent me many portents. I only await a proper death till the family acts of honor passes to you. <laughs> The air is filled with the smell of fish guts. Your catch appears generous. Your nets overflow with silver stock. You're lucky. Good warrior, you carry yourself with the spirit of a Drengar. I am a Drengar too. In fishmonger slacks. Is this your way of hiding or protecting those around you? My life has had many chapters. Ragnar Lothbrok himself started as a farmer, you know. He often envied my choice. You rode with the great army of Ragnar. I did. And it was here in England that I saw a land so fertile you could spit and food would grow. Water steaming with fish. I met a Saxon lady, Athelswig, and we have made a fine life for ourselves. The best clams in all of East Anglia. But now I must show my son the way of the Drenger. How to die with honor. I respect your desire for an honorable death. I want my son to watch. He should have the final word when I pass. He will not see me die on a bed, coughing like a crow. I accept your fight. We'll show your boy how Drenger do their bidding. Do you hear this, son? Today you will see the color of the blood that made you. The color of Courage and honor above all. Any weapon will do! Now you see, son, we are Drenger!
Watch me, son. A true Drenga can win a battle with a twig or a stone. Son, do not look away. My end is near. I have reached the glory gate. Think of me, my boy, my dear love. Now, you know. Father, I... I understand. I see the glory you spoke of. Go now to Valhalla and join Ragnar in the War Eternal. Your father is a fine warrior. Hadrenger to the end. One day, I will honor him, and make of myself a Drenger. Know the witch. Suffering hard times, I see. Yeah. <laughs> 
I do not think the horse can hear you. That horse can't hear anything. So how does he... Uh, how did Father do it then? The horse always comes when he summons it. Father was a good horse summon owl, have you know. And I'll ride in his stead. A few tasks Redder needs handled came in today. We're always looking for help.
What a handsome cat. Hello, friend of Freya. What's wrong? Hey, Nelly, come back, you sneak! Here, little one. Hey! No, stop! Oh, pig poop. You ran off again. Cats are free spirits, aloof and haughty. Like the goddess Freya. I know, but ever since old Cotter died, that old sea cat has run wild, scaring the chickens and scratching me. Ah. Ship's cats are good luck. Do you need help catching him? Oh, yes, please. You little mouse biter. <laughs> wow! Nolly hasn't let anyone touch him since old Cutter died. But he sure loves you. Do you want to join my crew, Nolly? You would make a fine raider, I think. Every longship needs a brave cat for luck and for the rats. Looks like I have another raider. Oh! Swarlos here was a country game of all, though. Yeah, make the hem as a scent. And ha! Warlock, I'm interested. Aye, what say you? Let's go a few rounds. Let's do this then. Excellent. Let us not tarry. Interesting.
This will do. How did you do that? Yes! It'd have been anyone's game. <laughs> Come on, you're not gonna leave it at that, right? Let's go again. Set the board. We go again.
Interesting. Over soon. You are really good at this. This will do. Fort. Ah, you got me. Shall we go again? I've had enough of this. No greater honor than to serve aboard your sea steed. I will wait for the day I earn a place at your side. Well, if it isn't Eivor of the Raven Clan... How do you know me? People talk. I've heard all the rumors that Eivor the Dane is a coward, a cur, and a leech. Perhaps you can swing that wee axe on your belt. But I doubt you've much talent for speech. You might be surprised. Let us duel. Well, I'll need a wager first. Here's the silver. Now begin. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. You're speaking about me that's a little odd. Just awful, what a clown you are. 
They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. And they're sorely mistaken. I'm known for my might. Interesting. Interesting. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Then you've clearly misheard them. My wit is immense. Oh, you looked out with that one. Well, what a surprise. Eivor of the Raven Clan is a true talent. I'm shocked. Don't believe everything you hear. Unless it touches on my flighting, then heed every word. Take the coin, and know that only praise will henceforth cross my lips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What? what? What's happening? Finir? No, not unless Halfdan sent you. Let's pretend Halfdan did send me. Then we pretend you're Finir, his steward of East Anglia. Right. How do you expect to find a king for this kingdom when this is the speed you work at? I found him already. And as soon as he's married, we'll plunk his ass down on that throne. Which man? <sighs> you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who cannot keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all. Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the arse and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane, for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. Wizard fletchings. Fitting feathers for a king slaying. Uh, touch not that throne! It was blessed by a priest, as were the arrows. Ich war von Abner Eidner, Eidner. 
These arrows are very lovely. Very lovely indeed. How dare you touch those sacred arrows? You've desecrated a martyr's place. Hold, stranger. Show me those arrows. These are just arrows, plain and simple. Why are you so passionate about these arrows? When Father James blessed the late King Edmund, he blessed that holy throne and all upon it. The blessing did not take. That depends on your opinion of King Edmund. I wonder... I have studied those arrows, but never dared touch them. But since you plucked them anyway, would you sell them to me? I'm willing to sell, but the King Edmund arrows might be mixed up with my own. I've the eye of an archivist, able to sort, new from old. The kingdom's history shall be restored. Just sell them all to me. These arrows are the very same that pierced good Saint Edmund. I must study these holy relics. Thank you. Hello there. This could come in very handy. You are what? I must take my leave. Oh, 
Be my eyes soon. Few are seen that will be chosen. They rushed in like wolves, killing and burning as they went. It wasn't us. Your folk destroyed this country once before! Now you doing it again! We live here, you blistering fool! We were attacked as well! You live here because you took our land! Show me. I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dane or Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together. Not a part. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll.
A king should be harsher in tone with those who disrupt his kingdom. I'm not yet king, so I'll listen to my people before deciding what tone to take. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I am not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Helfden's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I am here to see that it does not happen again. Lately I've come to learn you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else if not a king should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the hold-up? The hold-up? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Slow down. Something is not quite right here. Hold. There is smoke ahead. That's Beatley. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. The guards here are vigilant. Fall for any traps. <laughs> Last of these pig faced cowards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. Ruiz clan. 
They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'll be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. A healthy seeming town. This Oswald has done well for himself. Greetings, mighty Eivor. I would join my. My blade is always ready. Nisim for Jewetness, your cheeks for none. He is my blood fach, swa u elle, na werta uf cheperta. There. Alone, Dane. Can't trust that. Shh. Be kind, yeah? As Christ would command. Oswald, where is this dinner you promised me? Eivor, you came! Dinner will still be served, but I'm afraid you are too early. My intended and her family are not ready. This intended of yours, Oswald, who is she? One of love, or politics. Her name is Valdis, and people don't marry for love these days, Eivor. This is an arrangement for East Anglia's benefit. She's from a Dane family whose military might is not to be trifled with, but her brothers, their motives are selfish. Why don't you ever look around and come back later? Dinner will not disappoint. What are you doing? What 
do you see? Ifte tima si cum sona toia Fellow adventurer, need to know the lie of the land? Where is the matter of my fee? Yes, all right. Right. Let me show you something on your map. Aid me, be my eyes. Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Finir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broder, and to my lovely bride-to-be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that the is... The last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty arse. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. 
<laughs> Is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruet's clan. But between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, wolf kiss, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your... Flaccid ego. My flaccid what? This... You heard me. That's it! She called us flaccid! Limp. Weak. Soft. This is no way to ensure our victory. Reminds of home, those bygone days. To be so full of vigor again. This is not how we set up disputes in East Anglia. Stop! All of you! That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia's in the state it is. You are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me done. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I'll find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him.
Cura some corn to whirl. Hold a whip. It's one that is custom. Hello and welcome. You would look very powerful with that. You would look very striking with this. This will look very good. This is the current fashion. You have an amazing eye for these things. This is a very good piece. An excellent purchase. Always good to pick up new stock for the shop. Finished looking around? I'll see you later, friend. See my wares. You have an eye for craftsmanship. Nothing else? I'm off. Be well, friend. Ah, good morning. Upright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the move a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, Stuart Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Finner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir, the hound. He has bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? That's flighting, Oswald. Using rhythm and rhyme to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead. 
you dunce of the thirds. Uh, a glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. He's got the wit of a boa, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur, you'll be raven flock food. But your brain's soaked in mead, and your... Head's made of wood. Wood! Head's made of wood! He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. Oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You? Not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail... Blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. Hit him back and make it personal. Attack his mother. When you crawled from the womb, you were ugly and lame. Your poor mother, she fainted away from the shame. Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well-timed words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finir. I challenge you to a home gang. You don't mean that, Oswald. That's a fight to settle disputes, no? A home gang. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> Too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finir would not be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on, this is... That said... I should not be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. The water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. Are you ready for the home gang? I hope so. I just need to prepare. I'll meet you with the other. Oh. Oh. Off we go. strolls into town. An oath means as much as death. These flimsy oaths, they cost us everything. I like to take oaths in the ancient manner. Let the sail so out! for a day, then cut a sheet of feet at her from the earth. We can continue later. Back to 
the story. Then we'll pick up from you. there. You made it. Now tussle with care and go easy on our future king. He's the only man left who can claim the crown. Kings are made, not born, Finir. So let us see what we can make of Oswald. <sighs> Done. You still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I'll always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as a king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. I have never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're unarmed? And you should thank your god that I am. We will forge a king out of you yet. Don't hold back. You want me to... Ah! Whoa, was that too hard? It was a good strike. Keep going. You felt that one. I'm still here. Ha! You expect the Danes to follow this pork belly? I'm... I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, Saxon. Come now! Inspire us, King! If it's a fight you seek... You'll never be king at this rate. Is this the best East Anglia has to offer? Yes, and I'll... I'll prove it! Come on, fight! This Eivor hangs me to watch! Eivor is the victor. But you've shown us something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. I will... I will not stay down! You fought bravely. Not with great skill, but with spirit and courage. Always push back with everything you have. Even if you have to get dirty. Even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules. Not if you answer a challenge head on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. Redress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attack Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, they'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. Eivor, I expect your longship crew could help with this attack. Raising the sail here. Run up the sail! Yeah. Sing us a song. You Salskulls got a story. No one has been willing to take a stand against Ruid's clan before. We're a kingdom of farmers and merchants. Even farmers and merchants can fight when led by the right person. I hope your faith in pig farmers is not misplaced, Abel. There is work to do, yes. But we will rise to meet Ruid's clan. God will make certain of it. Won't take long. Kill it! For the war! We beat the Ravens this day! They've left none alive. Neither will we. Oh, 
cancel you. There may be prisoners here. Keep an eye out. If I see any, I'll let you know. Meet your fate. appreciate waiter on who fight yeah. well Osmar. does the threat of death drive your blade Good heart. Thank you. Now to kill any stragglers. As I was telling you, you fight well, Oswald. Does the threat of death drive your blade further? Whatever compels you, hang on to it. Over here! Ah, that'll do nicely. Find something? There's a crate of hack silver here. More than enough to make everyone happy. We'll take it to the ship. A hard one fight. The first of many, Oswald. Have you the will to keep it up? This is my gift to the brothers. I have more than enough wealth in Elmham to widen their eyes, but this will be a symbol of my commitment to our fight. It's a good start. Take what riches you find to know the witch, then send for the brothers. I'll meet you there. And race more sail. Save it for later.
Let's hear a story. You may not know this, but Ragnar Lothbrok once asked me to lead his early assault on England myself. This would have been eight, maybe ten years back. It's hard to say. The winters blow into one another like a great white fog. But I remember as if it were yesterday. Ragnar appeared at my home unannounced. Naturally, I welcomed him. He had traveled a great distance only to see me. So I poured him ale and fed him bread and listened as he talked. He was feeling anxious about his journey, leading so many men into such a great war. It was a burden he could not handle. It was then, with tears wetting his lids, that he said, Dog, teach me the art of war. Lead us to England and to... I shook my head. Ragnar, I told him. I have two weddings I must attend soon. Were it not for these, surely I Take would help you. Ragnar bowed his head. Thank you, dog, he said. Though you will not be on my ship, you will be present in spirit. And that is enough. Hey, hey that out! <laughs> oh, that's silver, livestock, and a trophy from our slain enemy. What more do you want? Who said we wanted anything, Saxon? No battle then to Dane would ever follow this lump of lords into battle. I don't care how many shields he brings me. You mean to say you refuse my gifts, Broder? I don't have time for this. It's a generous offering, brother. You'd be a fool to turn your back. Refuse this and your shame will stain the name of your sons and their sons beyond. Stay out of this, wolf kissed. Take the gift. We have bigger problems. One of Ruid's men. Aye. Sniffing around the outer walls, looking for an easy way to slip a few dozen men inside. If there's one scout, there will be more. Something you might have learned if you kept him alive. I was passing water when he surprised me. It was either him or my plow sword. Where did you find this one? Just outside the Northwich walls, by the water's edge. They'll be looking for points of entry to sneak a herd of raiders through. Jesus. Find another scout. We'll question him. I'll look around. The rest of you stay here and out of sight. If I find anyone suspicious, I'll bring him here. Ruid scouts will be camped near their boats outside the city walls. One of them will talk. Looks like one of Ruid's men. Wait, wait! What are you doing? 
I'm just a pig farmer. You're awfully well armed for a pig farmer. Stay down, muckworm. I have some friends who would like to speak with you. Put me down! I tell you, I'm a cow farmer. Let me go, Dane. You said you were a pig farmer just moments ago. It, uh, it's not beyond reason. I tend to many livestock. You are as Dane as I am. Save your breath, liar. Did Ruid send you to? Speak now, and you may live to see tomorrow. Arger swine. That won't make you any friends here. A scolding like that is a mortal offense, boy. I killed the bastard. Don't give him time to act again. I'll ask once more. Why were you lurking around Norwich's walls? I came to pay my respects, Lord, to Oswald, the whimpering Saxon ergy of East Anglia. I could do that all day, you drooling bloodletter. Only give me a reason. Lick my tongue hole. Here is the tongue I use for licking. How does it feel against your ass? When the braziers lit at Dunwich, Ruid and his men will rally. They mean to attack Northwich by its weakest wall. <laughs> you English Danes are butter now. Ruid sends his blessing, lady. He'll see you again very soon. He may still be of value to us if he... Any man who questions your courage and feels no shame, that's your answer. I will not have blood spilt needlessly in my kingdom. This has to end. Alive, this man was a risk. Valdis, this man spoke as if he knew you. Ruid was my husband. Your husband? You're married already. I was. We've been apart for five summers. I never expected to see him here. And I never wanted to. East Anglia's prosperity depends on our safety and unity. With Ruid's clan stomping around, neither is possible. I must speak with him myself, man to man. There's no place for him in East Anglia. He must hear it from me. Right. I'll start looking for a new king tomorrow. It was good to know you, Lord. Ruid will eat your lungs for supper, Oswald. Steer clear of him. If I'm to be a worthy king, I must meet the man who bedevils us. I'll light the brazier at Donich and face him when he comes. You sure you want to do this? Meeting Ruid in the open comes with many risks. It's the only way. We must face him head on, and we cannot waver. Come, Oswald. We make for Dunwich. And of course, I will see the lot of you there as well. Else the songs of your cowardice 
will ring out over the generations. I'm sure you're heading to Dunwich any moment. We'll be there, Eivor. You don't speak for us, Steward. Need I remind you, Wags, what Halfdown will do with us if East Anglia falls into Ruid's hands? I'm for you.
Take the monks painting things if you see them. Worth much silver.
This statue has three large slits. Something may fit here. A knife or a dagger. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Cast about this land, my friend. Should be cautious around here. Votin, oh, take you. Here's an 
nice hard shaft in the arena. You are your dog. Even little hits never fall. No sailor can save you now. <laughs> Which pickings? Better bring the crew. Come, my wolves!
No racing the sail here. Sail! sail here. Catch the wind! Sing, my ravens. Close the oars! No sail! Bring the mast yeah, yeah, yeah. down! of the feud between Kiotve the Cruel and the Raven Clan, there was a mad berserker called Kiar Robo. Kiar had pledged this battle fury to no King Oyar and would give his oath only once each winter for reasons nobody could fathom. One year, Kiar's sister Thura was married to Kiotve's brother Alric, and soon Kiar. I need your eyes, my friend. and pulled off one of his arms. When he returned to camp, Kyotve asked where his brother was. Kyar shook his head and held out his hand, in which was an arm. Your brother bid me give you this ring, Kyotve. Confused, Kyotve took the ring, and with it came the entire bloody arm. Your brother pledged his oath to hell herself, Kyar laughed. Then he turned and departed. He was never seen in those parts again. Hush now. Its men tore Able. through it. You made it. Dunwich. It is time to light the brazier. I'll light it. You do the talking. Brother Valdis and I will scout the dock. Make sure there are no surprises. Oswald and I will hold here until the brazier is lit. The front gate is heavily guarded. You'll not be walking in. I'll find my own way. We'll be watching you back. Now to clear out Ruid's men and light that brazier. <laughs> Best not to draw attention here.
take the area soon enough.
dead! Your end is right here! Now I'm angry! Don't grant me strength! That's the last of them. Once the brazier is lit, the rest of Ruth's men should arrive. Odin gives me a bargain. A few dead men at my feet in exchange for a ripe East Anglia, and my wife returned. What a day! You... I don't know you. Any questions you have, you ask the King of East Anglia, and bend the knee while you do. <laughs> Who called for me? Was it you, Valdis, my love? Why would I call you now, after five happy years away from your stinking balls? I called you, Ruid. You, Oswald, the hopeful king of East Anglia. And Valdus' husband-to-be. Take your men and go. East Anglia is strong with Saxons and Danes united. It will not fall to raiders. <laughs> Must I set sail for Denmark with nothing to show for the journey, after coming all this way? You'll have my weight in silver. And an abundance of livestock and grain. I've taken ten times that already. What's the real prize? I'll make you an offer, Pigfoot. A home gang, just you and me, for the future of your kingdom. I accept. I accept. A fight to the death. East Anglia's the prize. Let it be heard. Wait a sec. The hazel is laid! The square is made. When you see a chance, lead Valdus and the brothers to safety. They must not fight today. East Anglia needs them. Let me be your champion. No. He called on me. Whenever you're ready, King of Sheep Set. I'm ready! Ah! 
Another Saxon king has bent the knee. Call me king before I cut you. Fighting dirty, are you? King Rui commands you to die! Oswald! Call me King! They're breaking off. They've given up for now. Let's put some distance between us. We can rest a moment. By Thor, he fought well. Raging like a bonfire. We should go back. Oswald may have survived. Ruid as well. It's possible. Ruid's men will press their advantage. We must be ready when they attack. We'll go to Norwich. Meet me there when you can. He died a hero. There's no doubt. If his god won't take him, all the sword women will. Feel stronger already. None of us will. Without blood meat. What troubles you, friend? 
Why won't the seer answer your call? I know not. But without her drafts, my family is doomed. The door is locked, and nobody is stirring within. Better look around. Blood leading away from the house. Something's amiss. I bear this pain with grace, Freya. But please, show me a sign. You have my thanks, kind one. Your wounds are grave. Should you not rest in bed? I'll carry you home. It is no wound, but the blood is mine. I made the potion, Freya's blessing, to help the crops grow. Blood meat. Good. You know of it. From my pain, life springs. Ah. Uh, please, help me to the clearing. The field needs the blood meat. There's a farmer at your house who needs it as well. She waits desperately for your return. Oh no. But my fields. If I fail in my task, the harvest is doomed. Please, bring me to the next bloodstone. Seer. The pain surges. But I must finish the ritual. I could take her to the next bloodstone. She could finish the ride. Or I could bring her back to her house, where the farmer waits. Here is the place. Are you strong enough to finish the ritual? I am. Though I must rest. Then I will chant and sow the blood meat. A task I must perform alone. I understand. What else can I do? You've done enough, and for that I thank you. But return in a few days, and see the ripening fields. I shall. Farewell, seer. May the gods watch over you, kind one. Farewell.
lends me strength. This area is off limits.
do you see? Can't raise the sail yet. Sail up! Sail down! You must row. More sail! Strike of the tune. Hold on, good skull. taught me that to love love my mother once said better to feel the stings and arrows of love than nothing at all be a bolt of lightning not a stone so many men forget to hug or buy every hut in our village every night with me than hugs i would do the same he always said beyond the complex lives of gods are these simple truths we forget and it takes tragedy to get them back. He said this too. Hugs are hugs. Mead is mead. Love is love. God, I miss him. I see him sometimes, his face leaping from the waves. <laughs> Let's have a song. Is there a sea skull among you? We all remember when Eivor gave orders to attack Kjotve's clan in Avalst. My first day defending the walls of Grantebridge, my duty was defense. I had asked for this task myself. As I patrolled the walls, I sang and banged my shield again. We can continue later. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Help me out here!
Hey! Future king and hope for East Anglia. It's Nile Namnislim, yeah. We will remember his brave fight in Dunwich. We will remember his sword against another king lost Abel. Stop washing your face with mead. How can I face half Don Yarl now? I fail him again. You have not failed him. Ruid's clan is badly weakened. We can still cure what ails these lands. What Thanes would risk their asses now? Oswald was the last with even a scrap of courage. We can take the battle to what remains of Ruid's clan before they hit back. Easier said than done. His men are holed up in Borg Castle, a fortress on the sea. On the sea? Then it must have a harbor. It does. Guarded by a gate of hefty iron held in place by timber spikes, difficult to force open. Timber burns. It does, but how do we reach it? We rig your ship with oil at her front, sail it ablaze at the gate. They would see us coming, long before we reached the walls. We raise a fiat, an army of East Anglia's farmers, throw them at the front gate as a distraction. <laughs> Saxons willing to die for a bunch of Danes? It's a stretch. It can work, Finir. If they fight in Oswald's name, that is all the courage they will need. <laughs> you there! Did you hear of Thane Oswald's fate? Aye, we did. He dragged Ruid to the bowels of Elba, Dane devil. Ruid may be gone, but his clan still plagues East Anglia. And would you join us to rid your kingdom of his dogs? For Oswald? Aye, anything. Two eager Saxons is not yet defeated, but you may be right. We may have a chance. I can ride to Elmenham and muster what remains of Oswald's men there. But who else would join us? The Reeve of Thaedford, Winston. He's a bitter old barnacle, but he would fight to the death for this land. We can assemble a forward camp at the ruins north of Boer Castle. Ride with me, Fenir. Let's pay this Reeve a visit. With any help? Theovort remains untouched by Ruid's violence. Hope is a scarce word in this kingdom. Maybe so, but I would rather hold on to something, anything, than ride with empty hands.
Bruit's clan continues to roam this kingdom unchecked, the people of East Anglia will be as ravaged as these lands. And where do we find ourselves? Riding into the fence to beg a horde of frightened farmers for aid. To fight for a king that you gave them, Finir. Remember that. It was my task to find them a king, not protect that king against every danger that might befall him. Oswald wasn't crowned yet, nor was he married. I say you have some work yet to do. Right, right. No need to remind me of the farmer. fucking farmers must have more than this. Watch your back. <laughs> Ruit's clan may still be nearby. Table, just ahead. Wood smoke and ash. Ruit's men have been here. <laughs> Eat, my child. There's no time to waste what the Lord has given us. What about you, Papa? There's so little. There will be no more. Eat. You'll have strength. Everything is gone, Reed. Everything. Ah, oh, my friend, we will rebuild, I promise you. I ain't got the strength no oh. more. Stand tall. <laughs> you have a will of iron coming here, knowing your kind did all this. Ruit's clan is your enemy, not me. I come on behalf of the late Oswald of Elmenham. You're still a Dane from top to two. It's your meddling that led to Oswald's death, leaving our kingdom for the worse. Oswald died defending East Anglia, defending you. Will you not do the same? What? Die in defense of a lost cause? I have problems of my own. East Anglia will fall if Ruit's clan is not defeated. Fight with me to drive them off. For Oswald and your kinsmen. Pretty words, Dane. But the men of Theovard have their own battles to fight. If you need an axe, I'm standing right here. There's a village to the east. Kingsbury. It was taken by Ruid's men a fortnight ago. And I'll not rest until it's back in our hands. Let me and my raiders take the village. Save your strength and join us for the fight to come. A bold offer. If you do as you promise, the pikes at Theavard will be yours. I will take this news to our forward camp, Eivor. Follow when you can. I will see you there. Kingsbury's church has a great horn atop its steeple. You managed the task, blew it, and I'll know you kept your word. <laughs> you there, Dave, a word if you will. You called to me. We heard you talking with the Reeve, and we wish to fight beside you. We owe Oswald for his good deeds and fair rule. I'm glad to hear it. Go to the ruins north of Burr Castle. The army gathers there.
Ich habe eine Pich. This place is heavily guarded. <laughs> Time to sound the horn and signal victory. The Reeve has come to join me. Let's hope his promise holds. I held to my oath, Reeve. I hope you will honor yours. My promise holds, I. They of Ord will join you in the fight against Ruid's clan. With your aid, we may yet save East Anglia. In past times, that horn was used to muster fears all across our land. We may find others who have warmed to its call. Good. Whatever willing men you find, rally them soon at the ruins north of Burr Castle. Board has answered the call. I should join Finier at our forward camp.
Kingsbury Horn has inspired more than a few farmers to action. You did this? Aye. We heard the horn's call, as in times past. Are we to rise against Ruid's dogs? Theobald will rise, and Northwich, and Almanham. Then we will too. Oswald drew first blood taking Ruid down. We will finish what he started. We meet at the ruins, north of Burr Castle. We're only hog farmers, but we'll fight as hard as we're able. Let's go. There's a long road ahead for us. East Anglia have more courage than I imagined. And in all skilled and grain to keep them. Oh. They made sport of the apple. Tying him to Go! Get the murdering dog!
Ruins wretch has spared you. You're lucky. God be praised! We were lambs before their blades, ready for slaughter! You draw breath still. I heard the horns call, but I thought I was dreaming. I will join the feared. Just name the place. We gather at the ruins northeast of Northwich. I'll be there. Let howl the battle wind! A greater darkness fuels my rage! Spirit of my father's rage, fill me!
Let howl the battle wind! Stubborn dragger! How is this possible? Dragger! I shall quiet. A greater darkness fuels my rage. Spirit of my father's rage, fill me! Breathe in flame, but not a fire. How can this be?
Titan Gas. Bring out the blood! Bring out the dead! Feel stronger already. Crackling and welshing. Let rest your demons.
That horn came from Elmenham. Valdis must have got to them. The brothers fleet, gathered and ready. The bandits are not but jackals. String them all off, I say. Bandits scum. We'll have to gather an army. We really do this? We're just farmers Finally. and merchants. We put my long ship to you. I protect the righteous. I was tired of it gathering uh, dust. What? Our ships are sturdy. Uh, the Earth's walls are sturdy. This plan of Finners is mad. Favor! Word of your actions in Thaevord has spread like wildfire. Men are pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. Thaevord's Reeve is with us. His men will be here soon. More than his, the Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end. Saxon and Dane united in common cause. A pity he's not here to see it. The forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? I need more time. We await your return.
Are you ready to start the assault now? I am. Our target is Burg Castle, said to be impenetrable. Good. Let them have their false confidence. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the field at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the sea gate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in, we'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruid's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship, is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. They need your words, Eivor. Oswald was a man who did not hesitate when you sought him for favors. A man who was fair and strong. A man who gave his life for his kingdom. Honor him today. Honor his memory and fight with the same extra courage. He showed! For us! For us, for us, us world. Now is the time. Today we rid East Anglia of Ruit's clan. Once and for all. You remember the dream I spoke of? You sailed through Helheim on a ship of fire. Here, it may come to pass. Dreams. Life. It may be they are one and the same. Tonight I ride the flaming sea steed, rushing for the spear din. A watcher alight on water's wake. Another glory I will keep. Ready yourselves. Ruined shit stains will see us coming. Men, we bring Helheim to our enemies. How nice! They greet us with some of their own from the air. Arrows! Grace! Odin's down! May his sword maidens take them swiftly.
We need to open these gates! By the gods! Try to fight dirt!
fight you! Shut your arse, twig spine! Stand fast! This will be over soon! Worry not for me! You must stop! Silence, fool! So this is what it comes to, Wolfkist? Two Danes fighting over a filthy Saxon horse, son? If this swine is your prize, come and get him! Saxon love comes to fight. You are finished here, Ruin. Your battle is not yet won, or fault. A miserable clan you lead, Ruin. Yes, the one that has bled this country dry for two summers. Flee, Ruin, while pity restrains my blade. Not till I've taken all these shores after ever. <laughs> They should be ruled, Wolfkist. Made thralls, not treated as equals. We are better than this, than all of them. Do not drag me down to the sewage you wallow in. Why does a Dane fight tooth and nail for a Saxon? This Saxon of all. He has an abundance that which you do not. He's fit to. Thank you. You throw in with these wastrels? These Argir swine? For what? A scrap of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching skull. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands, to rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? 
How much are you willing to lose? The rightful king of East Anglia has spared your life today, and so it will be. Compassion is a virtue suited for anyone, Eivor, including you. Thank you. I should speak with Oswald. See if he is well. Druids finish to the ships! Praise the old father! Oswald lives! You fight well, heathen. Not bad yourself, Saxon. We did it! I can't believe we did it! And Oswald yet lives! God is truly merciful! Thank you for heeding me, Eivor. I know the worth of such a gesture. All this is... is like a dream. But you are not asleep. Well fought! Well fought! The both of you! You came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. And soon, something more grand to take place. Our wedding, my love. If you will still have me, that is. And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute. And I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Come then. We have much to prepare for. A bride to wed and a kingdom to lead. What some men wouldn't give for such things. Countless men have died for them. And you, Finir, are you jealous of such things? Hardly. My heart is afire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Abel. For now I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. I should return to Elmenham. Oswald's wedding will soon begin.
you pay for your sins! Wedding preparations in full bloom. Fundum für Westgautland. Come, come, the wedding is soon to start. celebration, my lord. Thank you. May this feast set a spirited tone for East Anglia's future. Eivor, I'm so glad you've made it. Just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding. Yet I arrived in the end. A part of me worried you wouldn't. You look good, Oswald. Like a man about to marry a more powerful woman. Do I? Because I'm nervous as hell. Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win. I hereby name you man and wife, and as man and wife, I name you... Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia, with his Lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. You've done it, Stuart. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dan's dream. He ordered me to see it through. In my dreams, I'm sailing, remember? Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, 
Only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain! She stormed, Boo. Eivor! Care for a challenge? Eivor! Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my parts. They stand so strong. Unbreakable at this distance, no? They are not, Brothier. My arrow's shadow would have a target they strike. Even after draining so much meat, succeed and you shall be rewarded. Keep your eyes open long enough to witness me, you drunken lout. Yes, that's it! Password everything. An easy task for the wolf kissed. Ah, oh, barely a challenge. Impressive. Impressive. Here as promised. Now go enjoy the party. Let's have a drink. Yes, to celebrate. Skull! Drink more. Large Walker! Join us, Large Walker! Ah, my small walkers. I see that you're enjoying yourselves. Of course. There's plenty of cake for walkers all around East Anglia now. Both large and small. Your fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is required for drinking before the new king. A metal not unlike your own. To Odin and his endless glories. And the new king of East Anglia. May his reign be long and good. Not bad, wolf kiss. I wager you couldn't drink more than me if you tried. <laughs> A fool's wager. A challenge nonetheless. What say you? I will drink you under the table. <laughs> Confident, are you? Let us see how you fare against the ale beast of East Anglia. And we'll make it interesting. Put your silver where your mouth is. What say you? I accept. May the sword I lift is only a fey water. This way of Uthola. Nebi Lays.
This ale is strong, brother. <laughs> but I am stronger. Better luck next time, Wolfkist. Now, you owe me some silver. Fine, take it. For a sweet swine, <laughs> come join me. <laughs> the Saxon God wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mystery. Look, the moon. It moves on trouble now, but one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf and the nights will be black forevermore. Are you all right? I've tasted glory once again, and it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now... I always felt like Skull or Hati, chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them and I... I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My long ship's in Valhalla. Well, don't you remember? Fire starter. <gasps> Come on. Let's get you to solid ground. Everything's spinning. You're very strong. You, you're very large. <laughs> Sorry for this, Eivor. I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> The boar represents fertility. Did you know that? As does Freyr. What's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, your strength of character, skilled in so many ways. Yet I wonder, is there any skill of mine that I could impress upon you? Even a fool has something to teach, whether they're aware of the lesson or not. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my plow sword. Be plain about it, Stiff Spear. You want to lay with me, is that it? That I do. Will you follow me? To a place more comfortable? A good plow sword is a rare thing. Lead the way. That's worth a verse or two in some skull song. <laughs> I'll remember that for all time, Eivor. I will too, brother. The sagas are never this good. This night remains Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor! 
Eivor, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It has been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I am ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends, honored guests, we've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering. But it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, right now. In all of you, Dane and Saxon alike. To our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? To the good king, Oswald! Skull! To Oswald! Skull! Skull! Skull. Scorn! Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. Steady all, and ready yourself for the wedding race. The king and his bride against all. My king. He... <laughs> <laughs> The sheep you left to guard me have been shorn. Oswald, king of sheep fuckers, show your eyes. I challenge you. I accept. Oswald is king, and a king must have a champion. I will fight in his stead. He challenged me, Eivor. Your fight is bigger than this, Lord. You must rebuild East Anglia plank by plank, and a dead king cannot keep his oaths. Let me finish this. Oswald, you gutless Arius swine! I'll slay the wolf kissed, then hang you with your own tongue. You... always getting in the way! East Anglia can burn for all I care! I wish it had not come to this. So much death, so much anger. What is done, is done. You're leaving now. I should. Your wedding should be a day of peace and happiness. Today I lack both. Eivor, you've done East Anglia a great service. I promised you an alliance, and now you have it. And one day I will need you to make good on that alliance. I should find Finnir, say goodbye before I leave. Ah, you 
Bro there. Eivor, you will be missed. I gave you a few good memories to keep. <laughs> that you did. Take care of your king, bro there. He'll need you in the years to come. Brother, Oswal is in your hands now. Protect your king, and call out to my banner should the need arise. Aye, Eivor, without a moment's hesitation. Travel safe. I will, friend. Valdis. Will you not stay a moment longer, Eivor? I should not linger. My banner folk await my return. I understand. Take care, Valdis. You fought well and won yourself a worthy king. I did, didn't I? Take care, Eivor. When is that then hay past blue there? Hat in the A dream come true, like none other. Thank you for everything. From the bottom of my heart. Ah, greetings, Eivor. You're missing the festivities. I've had my fill. It's as much yours as it is Oswald's. I was a crumbling man, Eivor. Before all this, I thought I'd die a tired old failure. But now, my heart burns bright with newfound fire. I want to live hard, die fierce. Glory cares not for age, Finir. Sail with me. My ship could always use a wise head and a strong axe. Together? Together. I'll gather my things. Oh, God, it came after it. <laughs> 